All right, guys. So now, all right, guys. So now let's move on to set up our Flickr public services. So I'm going to click on Setup under Flickr. I'm going to type in Pies Flickr, Flickr account, whatever you guys want. Type in whatever you want to. I assume your names are not Pi, so. I'm going to click login to my Flickr account. It says Lightning needs your permission. You're going to say authorize. And then it says, okay, so it brings up my window. I actually just closed it. Okay, there we go. It says Adobe Photoshop wants to lose. And again, I've already logged into my Flickr account. If you haven't, it'll ask you to. So uh, here it is. You want to click on the right side because this left side one is actually saying if you follow it from an email or IM or Twitter not associated with Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, then click on next. Otherwise, if you click on the right one, it's actually going to authorize. If you click on the left one, it's probably not going to. So click on the right one. Okay, and we want it to access, upload, interact, delete, and say, okay, I'll authorize it. Now it says successfully authorized. You're going to come back to Lightroom, hit done. And again, everything else is going to work pretty much identically to the Facebook account. We're going to use the file name when updating. I want to replace. Um, same settings. I want it to be 100%. And then image resizing. I want it to be on the long edge, 800 pixels. Sharpen for screen, standard, we're going to change that to high. Um, I'll keep the embedded metadata, that's fine. And it's linked to my Flickr account, I'm not going to watermark it. Again, I would recommend watermarking it, but whatever. Um, you have some additional options on Flickr that you didn't have on Facebook. So you have privacy, um, safety, safe. This is basically like if it's a, you know whatever type of photo you might be taking. Maybe it's not safe for everybody to view it. Um, and what type of photo it is, if it's a photo or a screenshot or something else. I'm just going to leave it public and leave everything else to defaults. That's fine. Hit save. Again, it adds this next photo stream to uh, our Flickr collection here, our Flickr published services. So I'm going to add this photo now. I'm going to go right here, click on our photo, drag it to our new photo stream. Click on that. It says new photos to publish. I'm going to click publish. Once again, depending on your computer speed and your internet connection speed, it's going to take a few seconds to upload and uh, export and then upload this file. And then when it's done, it should give me a little dialog. All right, perfect. It was done and without error, unlike Facebook, which gives me stupid errors. All right, so now we can see it's the same way with how it works with Facebook. Well, let me confirm also that it's on my Flickr page. So let's check this out. Pi, I want to see my home. Okay, recent uploads. There is our new file. Awesome. Okay, now again I can manage my comments and everything directly from Lightroom. So if I want to type in, this is just a test comment and hit enter. It will update that comment and place it right on the site. It says Pi Jirsa 423-2011. This is just a test comment. Now if I go back to Flickr, I'm going to refresh. There's my comment. Awesome. We can do all our Flickr management directly from Lightroom, which is a great tool. You guys can, you know, you can imagine how long it would take to manually upload these. I can select multiple images, drag them all into my photo stream, and do it all at one time, manage my comments and everything. So these are really powerful tools, guys. I actually don't have a SmugMug account. If you guys do, the setup works pretty much the same way as what we did on Facebook and Flickr. It's very intuitive. Uh, you guys can do that on your own. So all right, guys, we're done with published services. We're done with the export chapter. We're going to move on now to learning the library module in complete depth, and then we'll get to the good stuff in the develop module.